last thing I'm going to do in this area is cover the neck. Necks are very sensitive and do not need deep work. They need respect work. This is where I'm using the knuckles to roll across the top of the trapezius and up into the curves of the neck and up to the back of the skull. You just roll, you don't push because otherwise you'll hurt. Some people, of course, prefer it stronger than others. Then you can use your thumbs to pull up across the trapezius and right up into the back of the skull, or you can use fingers. Gentle stroking. gentle stroke and then a hold. If you find an area under the skin that's particularly tight, just gently hold to help release. Do not press in, do not dig in and don't pinch. And also lift the skin on the back of the neck. This is very effective, you can do it with one hand or two hands. Gently squeeze up, and if you can, hold. Always pull or push this way. Don't work it down, as you're going against the natural pull of the skin. And the last thing that you can do is to run your fingers up to behind the ear, to the little bony area, there, called the mastoid process. And then from that point, you run your fingers along the back of the skull, which is under the hairline, to the middle. If you do it yourself with your fingers, you'll find out how wonderful that feels. You do that several times, and then repeat on the other side. Up to the back of the ear, find the mastoid process, and then run across the back of the skull just underneath the area, the occipital, which is quite a deep ridge. You can get your fingers right in underneath. As you can see, I'm just going up over the head, but we will come onto the head later. And again, final effleurage, gentle stroking to finish off what you're doing. And then up comes the towel.